There's something wrong with it. We need to get out of here, honey. Red rum. What did you say, Danny? Red rum. Red what? What does that mean, honey? Red rum. What are you saying, Danny? Danny isn't here, Mrs. Torrance. That's not funny, Danny. This isn't Danny, Mrs. Torrance. Oh, okay then, who am I speaking to? My name... is Tony. Tony? Yes, and may I say, you look ravishing today, Miss Torrance. Oh, uh... Thank you? I wanted to tell you sooner, but uh, I didn't want to come off as, you, you know, like, weird or whatever. No, Tony, that's not weird. <laughs> that's actually very sweet of you. I only speak the truth, Miss Torrance. Oh, please call me Wendy. Well, if you're Wendy, then I want to be Peter Pan. Take you on a magical journey to places you ain't never been before. <laughs> you're just saying that. <laughs> no, Mrs. Tor- I mean... Wendy. Since the day I hopped into your son's body and possessed him, all I've been able to think about was you. Tony, I'm a married woman. Mr. Torrance doesn't deserve you. Uh, plus, I'm pretty sure he had relations with the ghost of an old woman in a bathtub. Wait, what? Needless to say, when was the last time your husband took your hand and told you that you are beautiful? Well, it has been quite a while. That's unacceptable, Wendy. You were my gal. I'd treat you like the queen you are. Oh, Tony! M mommy? Uh, mommy? Go away, Danny. Mommy's having a moment. <laughs> Sorry about that, Wendy. Sometimes Danny's consciousness tries to push me out. Oh, no, it's okay. Because when I speak through him, I, I do indeed stop his ability to speak or take control of his own body. Well, he didn't eat all his vegetables today, so maybe pushing his soul out of his body will do him some good. <laughs> Ow, you're not only stunning, but a wonderful mother. I only wish I could be the father I've always dreamt of being to Danny. But alas, I'm a hundred-year-old spirit trapped in your little boy's finger. Yeah. Wendy, I feel Danny's subconscious trying to come back. I can't hold that little rascal much longer. But just know... I think you're a real dynamite gal! Hey, thanks, Tony. A and wait a minute, before you go, can I ask you a question? Of course. When you were alive, what were you like? I lived the dream, Wendy. My life was full of adventures and twists and turns. Oh, so you were a traveler of some sort? I was a plumber. Wait, what? It unclog a toilet like you have never seen. So fast at unclogging, they used to call me Too Fast Tony. That's... charming. Red Rum was the toilet cleaner I used. Red Rum really got the stains out, if you know what I mean. That's when I got cocky. I kept unclogging faster and faster. One day, I unclogged a toilet in less than 10 seconds. I then went into cardiac arrest. Next thing I know, I'm in your little boy's fingy. Ah, the afterlife. It sure is one crazy thing, you know. Uh, mommy? Oh, Wendy, Danny's coming back. I can feel him. Oh, before I go, tell me you love me. Oh. Um. I just. I just don't really think you're my type. When you're of a certain age, being home alone can become a tragedy. Jiminy Crickets! Has this door always been here? Disaster can seem to be everywhere you turn. Oh, 
from the creators who brought you Existence Alert, an emergency system designed to help older folks when they are in dire need, comes a new product for a more specific category. Drunk Alert, for when you're old and drunk and just can't seem to hold your liquor like you used to. Drunk Alert, when activated, summons a team of professionals to arrive immediately to the scene. Sir, look at me. What day is it? Purple. Oh, <laughs> he be lit. But Drunk Alert doesn't only just work at home, it also works on the go. Ma'am, are you all right? Freaking fine. Are you all right? Uh, y yes, yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm just fine. Oh, are you? Yep. Oh, snack or something? My grandkids made me these Christmas cookies. Keep them in my purse. You want a cookie? No. No, ma'am, I don't want one of your purse cookies. When you were born, I was just going through menopause. Okay. And it had just been invented. Okay. So if you're of a certain age and just can't seem to leave that party lifestyle behind you, then get drunk alert. I'm not even right now. <laughs> this Calvin and Hobbes, they're the best of friends. <laughs> oh, God. I got this time. You better stay right there. Don't you know if you move. You stay right there. You moved again. You moved. That was, that was you, you old church around guy. I got this. must be the Johnsons. Hi, yes, I'm Dave, and this is my lovely wife, Karen. Hi, how do you do? Oh, fine, fine, thank you. Oh, both of you, please, take a seat. So, I'm Dr. Vaughn, and I hear you two are thinking of having a little bundle of joy. Yes, well, we've been married for three years now, and we just feel that it's time to add a new member to our family. Well, then you've come to the right place. I specialize in genetic science, and I can give you a almost 99% accurate portrait of what your future child is going to look like. Wow, that is amazing. So how this is gonna work is I'm going to take a swab from both of you, and then with our very high advanced tech, I'm going to perfectly combine and blend your genetic codes together. And by the end, as I said earlier, we are going to have an almost exact portrait of your future child. So if you two don't mind, I'm just gonna take that swab sample right now and we can get started. Wonderful. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you, and okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna take your swab samples and put them into the machine, and within a minute, I will be back to show you a portrait of your future child. Within the minute? Wow, that's so fast. Well, you know what they say. Anyways, I'll be back in a minute with your results. I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, I'm back. Wow, that was quick. Quick, but effective. Now, are you two ready to see your results? Yes. So ready. Okay, then here is your future child. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Uh, what? What is this? Your child! Oh, no. It is a perfect combination of you two! How? It has your eyes! But it doesn't? 
and it has your nose. It has no nose whatsoever. I mean, is, is this some kind of joke? I don't follow you. Okay, you said you had advanced machinery that could do this, and this is very clearly a drawing. What? You said your portrait was going to be 99% accurate. Yes, that is what this is. Well, clearly not, because this isn't even a child. <laughs> listen, listen, our machinery is top tier. Okay, well, we're leaving, and what we've experienced here today is completely unacceptable. Oh! Okay, just one more push and the baby will be here. Come on, honey! Oh! Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, meet your healthy new baby boy. Oh, thank you. Dave. Great Scott! She was right. Whoa, a little snack or something. <laughs> <laughs> My grandkids made these Christmas cookies. <laughs> Hungry, we'll pack. Okay.